John here guys and today we're talking about upgrades to your micro brushless quads yes these are my two favorite micro brushless quads on the market the Emacs Tiny Hawk and the Beta FPV Beta 75 Pro 2 now this one is a 1s my favorite for indoors and this one is a 1 or 2s has the dual plugs under here that's good to fly either one and I have to say, this on 1S is actually surprisingly, amazingly, terrifically good. So if you're on the fence about which one of these micro brushless to get, I'm still waiting for my trash can. I don't recommend you deal with all the headaches of the Mobula 7 unless you are only going to fly outdoors and you're well aware of the issues with the frame and you're going to decide to upgrade it. To me, the trash can represents too much additional value to ever consider the Mobula 7. Trash can has a better camera, a better VTX, bigger motors, um, just all that stuff. The frame comes in a frame that's already not going to be smashed, so I'm expecting that to be great. But let's talk about what we've done here. I've upgraded the camera on both of these. This is the very popular and sought after Cadex EOS 2 camera. How did you get that in there, John? What did you do? Well, I just took this apart. It's very easy. You just undo the four screws here at the bottom, remove the board, take your old camera out, along with a generous slathering of hot glue, and slap this bad boy in. The camera lens on this thing is significantly larger. This is actually the stock camera of the baby uh, Tiny Hawk right here. Uh, and check out the difference in the size of the lens there. Quite a bit different. Um, and so this EOS 2 camera isn't quite perfect. It's definitely way, way sharper. The color handling is pretty decent as long as you have good lighting. Um, but if you look at when I'm flying around indoors or even outdoors, the way that it handles the light is very strange. Your lights are going to look just like very bright, cloudy, floating orbs. So the light handling is not very great. I still think that it's an upgrade for either one of the cameras that come stock on these. But let's talk about this one now. As you can see, this is the Foxier Falcor camera. Now it's very popular today to strap on a Turtles 2, but is that really necessary? Um, you can get away with running the best camera out on the market that is not HD, which is the Foxier Falcor. And I just kind of slapped the lens, stuffed it into this little lens holder right here. Now this is the 25 degree mount. I'm actually gonna switch it out to this 35 degree one because when you do this, if you can see right there, it flattens it out a bit. Uh, and so my 25 degrees is probably now like, I don't know, 10 or 15 degrees. So this would be good. Probably give me an end result of about 20 degrees. Um, this camera looks great. All I did was stuff it in there and use a small size zip tie to just secure this in place. The receiver antenna is over here. If I were, when I replace this, I'm actually going to run it under there so it's a little bit more protected. I'll probably get some foam or some kind of 3D printed material to go on top of here to protect this camera board. But as you can see, I intentionally flew it around, crashing it some um, like this and didn't suffer any damage, even outdoors on a playground. Um, so that is the story guys let's get to the footage before i do um if you're going to be flying either one of these indoors you're going to want 1s and this is just another option on the market today this is a battery by fusion drones they're a new player in the space uh, i've seen them around a little bit so they have a little products like this race wire and thanks to these guys for sending me um, this for review the little battery right there it works i actually like it a little bit better than the stock baby hawk or tiny hawk it's uh it's just got a little bit more punch and the size seems a little bit less. I, the, the one that comes with the Tiny Hawk is actually really good too. I prefer it to a lot of the other ones I've tried, um, but this is actually a little bit better option. It, as far as I can tell, it's the exact same size and weight. It's a 450 milliamp. You can do HV on it. And this is an 80 slash 160 C. Um, so that's probably where that extra little juice is coming from. And I recommend this for running either one of these on one S indoors. Uh, this battery works fantastic. So there you go. Let's get to the footage. Do you really need full HD the way this flies? Now you're going to be adding probably a good five grams to get this camera on, even after taking off the canopy. Um, but that's substantially less weight than adding the Cadex Turtles 2, which seems to be the most popular Cinewoop out there. It's definitely not HD, but it's somewhere in the middle, much more flyable. Um, and you do sacrifice a little bit of image quality. Now this Falcor, I would say is unusable for flying on any type of race drone. And it's, you know, a little bit sketchy flying on a full size quad, but on whoop class speeds, it's totally usable. The latency is not an issue at all. 
Oh, so I'm glad I really finally found a use for this excellent image quality on here. The OSD flickers a little bit. I think it's because I just need to switch this camera over to uh, to NTSC and uh, I still have the little camera connector here so I can plug in my little adjustment tool, adjust the settings on the camera, which I really like. So what are you guys doing? Is, is everyone automatically gonna default to the CineWoop or do you wanna keep some of the flyability of these? I would say that EOS 2 is a worthy camera upgrade to any of these micro style. Definitely get the four x three. Lots of complaints about the 16 by nine version that comes on the trash can. So the four x three has a much better field of view. I'd still like it to be slightly larger, but it, it's, it's great. I like it. I know Kebab said that it wasn't the best thing um it's true but it's definitely an upgrade and i'll take that upgrade you know there's not a lot of options without sacri without increasing a ton of weight this doesn't increase much weight compared to this camera right here i'd say you probably end up getting about two grams here versus like five grams here and on these microgram micro things where they only weigh you know 25 to 35 grams five grams is a lot so but check out the footage, see how it flies. I absolutely love this config configuration. This is one of my new favorites for indoors out or outdoors. My outdoor footage is on a pretty windy day, so it wasn't handling exactly the way I'd like it. Keep in mind, these things are still so light, even on 2S. It's, it's difficult to fly them on any wind, but here you go, guys. Thanks.